Hi everybody, this is Crypto Rich working with you to get rich with crypto, filling our pockets with crypto profits with a rather, rather, rather croaky voice today. I have with me my good friend Amir Ness. He is back. Uh, we're going to be talking about Bitcoin mining. We're going to do uh, some TA on Bitcoin and we're going to do some TA on Pirate Chain. To find the best cryptocurrency investments, check out Token Metrics. Use my affiliate link for a discount. Safety and security notice. Please watch out for comments like this by scammers pretending to be me or other huge crypto YouTubers. Also, please follow me on BitTube.video. You can also follow me on Odyssey. These are both censorship resistant platforms. And every now and then, I am going to post a video which isn't going to be on YouTube. Find me on these platforms. Hey, man, thank you so much for coming back. I know we did a video last week, but before that, it hasn't been for a while. Do you want yeah. to tell us a little bit about Elevate Group and what's been happening? Uh, yeah, so uh, Elevate Group uh, is the brainchild of uh, my partner, Gabby, and I. His family owns a mining farm in Irkutsk, Siberia. And um, a little over two years ago, we put up a mining platform, uh, essentially mining Bitcoin. So now um, it's it's always boom or bust, isn't it, in this industry? Um, but right now it's booming. I mean, uh, it's it's... In, almost impossible to get your hands on miners. Um, the, as you know, the difficulty has dropped significantly because of what's going on in China. So, and, so if people uh, don't know, do you want do you want to say how come it's dropped and what's going on in China? So since China, the government of China has cracked down on Bitcoin mining and basically gotten rid of all the Bitcoin miners there. Um, which I don't even think they've all stopped yet, but a, a large portion of them have, um, because I've spoken to some of them and they've, they've actually confirmed that they've stopped. Uh, so what's happened is the fewer miners on the network means that the rest of us who are still mining get to um, get larger rewards. So uh, it's more profitable, essentially. Um, so right now, it's, a, it's an amazing time to be a miner right now. Okay, very cool, very cool, and that and that adjusts every two weeks that difficulty, and right. the, the lower the difficulty, the greater the mining rewards. It's a little bit like I think. Imagine if there were only four Bitcoin miners in the world, that means the six point two five Bitcoin every ten minutes are being shared with those four miners, right. and then if half of them go offline, then those six point two five are being shared between the remaining two miners. Right. Right. Okay. Right. And there are more than two or four miners, just so people are clear, right? <laughs> Do you want to say a little bit about how Elevate Group functions? Yeah, so the way we operate um, is, and this was uh, kind of our purpose when we got started, we wanted to make everything very transparent. So what we do is we sell the miner and then we place it in our farm. Uh, you, the client gets a dashboard. Uh, we mine directly into their dashboard wallet for them and we take a 20% management fee. So rather than cloud mining, where you don't really get to see what your stats are and what your true profit is, with us, you get um, everything is transparent. You know, the, the cost of the power is five, five cents and the management fee is 20 percent of the profit, kind of like a hedge fund, basically. And um, and then you're online and you're mining and, and it never stops. It's not a contract that ends after, you know, one year or two years. It's for the life of the miner, which usually lasts a few years. Right. And then you also offer a repair service as well. And you have yeah. engineers that check on the miners. I know because I've been there to check it all out myself. It's in the yeah. days when we were allowed to travel. Yeah. yeah very cool. And it's in Siberia where That's you right. have cheap hydrothermal energy. So the costs are low. Plus, yeah. also, yeah. because Siberia is so darn cold, you don't need to spend so much energy cooling the miners because nature's doing it for you anyway. That's correct as well. Yeah, it's a good right. setup. You you've got a few miners left. What's happening with the with the mining industry in terms of hardware? I mean, hardware is just it, hardware was always tight for the last year. You know, like it, it was like dealing with the manufacturers was impossible because there was like a five six month leeway, and then they'd be late, and they'd say, you know, it's going to be another two months, but then they have your money. So we stopped buying directly from the manufacturers, and we went and started buying from the secondary market. Um, so there's a, a pretty healthy market for used miners, but you got to really know 
you know, who you're working with and getting it at a, a good price because, you know, everybody knows the profits are, you know, amazing right now. So everybody wants to get online. Right. Okay. And you said you have some miners. We have about 15 miners um, that we can get online and that are for sale. Um, so, yeah. Okay. They could be gone real quick. And what happens when they are gone? Then what do people do? Then, then we just have to see what when the next when we can get a hold of another batch. But yeah, they'll they'll be gone. I'm sure they'll be gone within the next couple of days. <laughs> okay, and what miners are these? These are in a silicon thirty terahash miners. Wow! To think I started with an S nine and now we're on thirty terahash. That's yeah. extraordinary. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Very cool. Anything else you want to let us know about Elevate Group? Um, no, as far as Elevate Group, uh, that's it. It's a pretty straightforward uh, business. It's not like DeFi at all. It's just you know running servers, running miners. They're very. It's very straightforward. Yes, um, yes, yes, yes. No, that's very good because Emir and I were talking about some of the DeFi liquidity mining I'm doing with Osmosis, making ridiculous returns. So you should go and watch my uh, videos on Osmosis. Yeah, uh, it's like over five hundred percent for staking Osmo in your Kepler wallet, as well yeah. as liquidity mining. I'll have the links in the description below if people want to go and check it out. Go join the Telegram group, ask all your questions. Um, and then what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the Bitcoin price chart and then also Pirate Chain. And people should know that your background is in finance and in trading. Wow. Amazing. Okay, here we go. This is this is a Bitcoin on the daily chart coin market cap. We can see can up here. Can you spread that out a little bit more? Sure. Yeah. I just draw the drew these lines here, like it looks like a little short range ascending triangle. But you you just look at candle analysis and volume. Yeah, yeah, candles and volume, and you know it's it's really apparent that um, I mean I think all big markets are controlled. So I think you know that there are uh, people <laughs> controlling the price of Bitcoin, and that means that you know people who are let's say ultimately long Bitcoin or Bitcoin bulls might be suppressing the price on purpose because they want to accumulate. But I do think that there is, um, we've, we've kind of tapped the bottom here enough times that I think what's happening is uh, kind of like a, a flushing process right now. Um, at these levels where it's like it goes down to 32, 33, comes back up to 34, 35, goes back down. I mean, there's a lot of recycling going on at these prices, but, you know, they, it could drop to 30 again. You know, I, I just think that any drop in price is going to be short lived. No yeah. one knows what's going on, but I do think that any drop in price is going to be very short lived. Yeah, I agree with you because we had a little drop here, drop here, here, here. And it didn't stay there long. Yeah. It just dropped back up. And there seems to be a floor at about 31 and a half. Yeah. Um, and then we got higher lows and squeezing in this ascending triangle. So you've got a resistance zone around about 35, 36,000. And volume going down, which indicates that people are kind of waiting on the sidelines. Yeah. Breakout. Okay. So that is Bitcoin. And then there's another coin that you and I have been very interested in which is pirate chain. I mean, I wish I was in on this. Like, I, I, I'm just like, you know, this thing, I remember this was at like 25 cents and I was complaining. <laughs> that's right, that's right. I remember we did a video um, May 2019 around about here when it was shooting up with the first halving. Nuts. Yeah. Um, nuts. That's right, shot up to just under 30 cents. And then lately, it has been as high as Almost seventeen dollars. Currently, it's at two dollars twenty-four. Uh, volume. Oh, it, went, it went all the way to seventeen dollars. Yeah, and, and now it's at two dollars. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Now we have a halving towards the end of August, which means the amount of supply will halve. I can't remember what it is. It's on the Pirate Dot Black website, but there's um, there's halvings every two hundred and seventy days, and I think this Perfect. is a very very good long term play. But this is not financial advice. And, you know, it might be the bottom here, it might go down, but I think it's going to, in the end, it's going to be affected by what Bitcoin does. But it does seem to have reached a floor, not much going on. You know, it's all very quiet, consolidating. Yes. So perhaps might be a good time to to pick some up now. And it's on. It's also on larger exchanges now, as well as Trade Ogre. It's also on Qcoin and Chain Jelly. 
because it's a little bit more expensive when change any. Okay. Anything else, Amir, you can see? Anything else you want to say about this? No, I mean, we're all just waiting for the market. It's ridiculous. It's like, you know, mining is good right now. The alts are really low right now. I mean, you're looking at alts that have lost um, 80% of their value, 90% of their value. I think one of the, you know, areas to look at um, is launch pads. I mean, we were talking about DeFi and DeFi can get really tricky if you don't know what you're doing with impairment loss and, you know, liquidity pools, staking, this and that. And it's all great. And that's that's definitely a big opportunity. But I was just thinking about, you know, launch pads, you know, launch pads are like dividend paying stocks where it's like you get access to the pipeline of IDOs that come through the launch pad. And whether you decide to sell or hold, it's up to you. But you're pretty much guaranteed to make some good money on on the IDOs and and that's it so it's like you own you know you hold the launch pad and you get uh some good yield out of it basically now are there any particular projects that you've come across that you want to mention I, I look I don't know them well enough I'm just doing my research on them but maybe we'll do another show and 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 talk about them yeah, yeah I'd love that I'd love that because it does take doing your own research because the projects can fail they may be rug pulls in which case I would recommend Well I mean you can look at like something like card starter which is a Cardano launchpad, you know, de dedicated to only Cardano projects. And that's like, you know, with Cardano going on the mainnet in a few months, that's like, you know, an exciting time to be looking at that. So card starter is something. Okay. All right. Well, listen, thank you, Amir. I'd love to have you back on. You can talk about one of those. We can also let people know the latest with Elevate Group. So uh, for anybody who's watching comments, questions, put them in the description below. Please forgive my croaky voice. If you like my croaky voice, Give me the ticker symbol for Pirate Chain, R, A triple R. If you don't like my croaky voice, then give me the ticker symbol for Bitcoin, BTC. That's it. In between now and when I see you next, please keep filling your pockets with crypto profits. This is Crypto Rich and Crypto Amir signing out. All the best. Bye-bye. Cheers, guys.